let's get into married to medicine and quad. Since she's not married to well, anyone. Girl, they ain't even got quad in the intro. Everybody there but her, but quad and and that that crocodile face white heifer that's trying to be Lisa Vanderpump but will never be. Dr. Jackie gonna say, ooh, Curtis is cooking for me tonight. But nine times out of 10, he falls asleep on the couch. Whose couch? Clearly not yours. Reverend Al Sharpton is calling Heffley. I'm sorry, I gotta be real with you. Al to Al, Heffley? You ain't gonna come on the show through Dr. Jackie. You gonna come in through Heffley and she gonna act like she wasn't expecting the call. Girl, you had your whole Bluetooth set up for this because I didn't see how messed up your YouTube show is. Heffa, please. So he's asking Heffley to do some mobile testing for the Vi-Vi at the March so everybody can be safe. Well, look at Heffley proving her worth. I'm impressed. Ooh, I love Contessa's new kitchen, except for the colors, but oh, that refrigerator. Oh my God, that refrigerator. It was girthy, like Deb hip at me. I mean, that was a frigidaire, honey. It's large and in charge. Who would be the large and in charge between Contessa and Britain? Because that's why her marriage to the mustache man is failing. She wants to be with Britain and I'll take Britain's husband off her hands. Uh, yes, I will. See, this is why you don't buy a house and do a remodel while you living in it. That joker needs to be turnkey when you walk in. And y'all had the money. It was just poor choicing skills. Like, you know, you not being an out and proud lesbian, just poor choicing skills. So Contessa talks to Scott's niece and she gives her a rose cord to calm her down and soothe the sea of emotions. And rose quartz is the stone representation of lesbonics. Like Contessa is the married to medicine representation of lesbonics. Or would that be Jackie and Simone? Jackie and Simone, Jackie and Simone. They've been together so long, they deserve a stone. Jackie and Simone, they're Jackie, they're Jackie and Simone, moan, 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 moan. I think Simone is the pillow princess and Jackie is the hard-tongued heifer. And I could see Simone saying, what works for us, works for us. <laughs> They're Jackie, they're Jackie and Simone, moan, 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 moan. Oh my God, Contessa, you think Scott got a side chick? Well, girl, you don't want him, so he got to get it from somewhere. But really, like, I, I don't think he's attractive. I really don't. Like, I want to know, where is his upper lip? Where is your upper lip? We didn't give a grip, but where is your upper lip? Where's his upper lip? It's hiding under the mustache. I don't think it's there. I think he grew the mustache to hide a lack of lip. A lack of lip. That's why Contessa can't deal with him because you know, he can't eat anything with no top lip. He give me teeth to gum tea, just teeth to gum. Ain't nothing up there but teeth and gum. Now, Contessa gonna say it would be naive to believe. And it would be naive for us to believe that you weren't biting on Britain. Cause she gave me that you was giving her them hard hickeys. So if you want to say it would be naive to believe, then let's really get to what we believe. Let's talk about you in Britain. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about Imani. Let's talk about that. Her husband left her like Halle Berry's men leave her. Quickly and efficiently. So if we, gon if we ain't gonna be naive, then let's be honest. And happily, uh, everybody know your, your son's a bottom. Everybody know. It's in the comments. Everybody know. Tell him to come on out. So Contessa asked Scott's niece to host a crystal event for the girls so we can get our energies aligned. Good luck. You can't get anything aligned until you honest about your lesbonics. That's the issue within the group. The girls in Atlanta finally started getting along except Kenya because everybody acknowledged we're interested in each other. Y'all are still in deep denial. I see it, you see it, we see it. Meanwhile, across town, we have Cecil and his new hairline with Bucktooth Simone. In the house they should have sold or renovated. <laughs> mm. 
Child, he got that hair implant by Bosley and it's changed his life. <laughs> I'm gonna get one too. But ooh, he's styling and profiling with that new hairline. You can't tell him shit. I mean, it's a nice house, but they still got the original paint job in there. And you wanna talk about Heavenly needs to wash her house, you need to redecorate yours. So Simone tells Cecil, you know Jackie called, but that's because Heavenly's trying to keep her spot on the show and secure herself as a likable character with the middle peach, or whatever y'all hold. Simone is on to Jackie's game, and I love it. Across town, Jackie's big ugly is telling her she missed a good time at the basketball game. So Simone and Jackie's big uglies respectively get them to meet each other and suss out the scissor-sister relationship. I guess they like, look, we've got affairs of our own and we need you to get back to clicking and clacking. Cause Cecil with that new hairline, I'm sorry, he, he, got, he got some little 32 year old out there just hoo -hoo. <laughs> Why are you not optimistic? Because I'm a pessimist. <laughs> you better say it, Simone. Cecil gone say, this ain't Boo Boo, this is Jackie. I know you meant Buffy. Y'all gone shave that hair because she popping on YouTube and you've got to have an ensemble cast to be interesting. She can do it on her own, like your taxes. So now we got the men's. Well, I mean, they're unattractive husbands, but I guess they qualify as men's is getting together for a day of golf before we head on to DC and have our vi-vi testing at the Mod. I really miss Sissy Noggles. Did he ever really hang out with the husbands like that? Did he? So Contessa's throwing her celestial celebration with crystals. The secret crystals of lesbonics. Heavily then chased away her only friend. We do not believe that just because you put them little faces on that picture on Instagram is why you and Quad fell out. We know it's because she was running your mouth about her business and that's why she don't mess with you no more. But that's also why she's not on the show since she isn't married to medical and also since she isn't interesting. Heavenly gonna say, oh, she don't have a husband and she don't have kids. Quad doesn't want a husband or kids. She's a true black widow. She just enjoys biting off her head. I mean, look at Greg. So we at the crystal party, now Jackie gonna ignore Simone. She's like, I miss my friend, but I'm not looking at you. For what? See, this is what happens when you mess with a pillow princess like Simone for too long. Anila. What in the Golden Girls workout episode hell do you have on? This is not Halloween. Are you trying to be Olivia Newton-John and let's get physical? More like let's get foolish. I'll say this though, you can fit it. Lisa Nicole Cloud could never. Simone has on her I don't want to be bothered with. <laughs> I don't even know why you showed up. I can tell by the curl in your hair you don't want to be here. Oh, Toya's going to bring Lisa Nicole Cloud, but I'd rather see Darren Noggles. We haven't seen him all season. Oh, God, and she's got that Cruella DeVille wannabe in the back, too. What's her name? Oh, that's right. We don't carry. Toya said, I'm going to just bring back the old cast since nobody wants to film with me. You know, I need to be around some women who are at my level of intelligence that I can keep up in conversation with. And clearly that's not Dr. Jackie or Dr. Simone. Is it, Toya? I'm fascinated. Now, Lisa Nicole Cloud, you wanna say, oh, I go on Instagram and all the girls got the same butt? You have the same face of every racially ambiguous girl from the 90s. I can't tell the difference between you, Lisa Lisa, Sheena Easton, wait, hold on, Tisha Campbell, Gabrice and Gabrissi. I mean, you, you and Nessa Williams wanna be. If I were you, I wouldn't throw stones from the house that you share with Darren Noggles. And he's an elder barge lookalike. All the girls got the same but You got the same face, the same hairline, the same attitude. I can't tell the difference between you and Anila. Girl, boom. So now we start passing the crystal around, saying things that we want to be forgiven for or things to forgive. See, Quad should have been here apologizing to that husband that she kept from having kids because now he's too old. 
Quad should be here apologizing for cheating him out of the last years of his good dick. She should apologize for that, but she ain't here. Or employed. I mean, it's one thing to be a gold digger, but I would have to consider her a true con artist. Contessa, who told you to do your hair like this? It, it almost looks cute from one angle, but uh, you look too bald when the camera get far. But now we got Contessa apologizing to the group and Toya ain't here for it. But are we here for Toya? The IRS is here for Toya, but are we? Are we? So Jackie apologizes for what? Not taking a stand? It's hard for her to do what's right for right's sake. Oh, okay, so you saw it because you fake in front of the camera. That's what it is. You see, I see why Simone's sick of you. But now, happily gonna apologize to Toya for bringing up quads, craps, since she ain't on the show no more. Mm, mm, mm. But y'all was friends. Y'all was good friends. You were encouraging her if memory serves. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh my God, the Bravo producers stole live, yet pre-recorded breaking news from me. Did you see that? I was like, I, for a minute, I was like, wait, am I watching my own show? I was lost. But yeah, I'm with you, Toy. Heavily gonna be sorry in two more hours. She should be sorry for her hair right now. So now we got Simone dropping by Jackie so they can get their scissors back to sniffing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for y'all to get back together and start picking on Contessa low-key because she's getting too big for her britches. And of course, Jackie says, come on in here and sit down like a patient. Go on and get them stirrups, girl. I don't know if y'all are scissor sisters or stirrup sisters. I think y'all might be a little more stirrup than scissor. Jackie did not say seeing Simone is like looking at an old boyfriend. Lesbonics. Oh, God, we're bringing it back to Buffy and the infertile. I'm not laughing at infertility. I'm laughing at the damn guy. <laughs> oh, my God. Bravo beat that dead <laughs> And they're still beating it. Do not go on a reality show and use that as a plot line because it will forever be the infertile. But uh, I guess the, the Buffy issue is really Jackie's problem. But Jackie, your real issue isn't Buffy. It was Simone called you on your crap and you couldn't take it. Oh, and they've got their scissors back to sniffing again. I am happy for their friendship though. And thank goodness we can move on from this dead horse. All right, well that was the shit. Now I'm gonna see you soon for something.